<sighs> Hello, everybody. <coughs> I just woke up. I took a shower. And I also got a nose piercing like a couple weeks ago. Sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. I had like a creative like block and like I, I felt like really unmotivated to do anything. Today. That's kind of going away now. Yeah, I just, I didn't feel very motivated to make anything. And I know like a couple weeks ago I said like, oh yeah, we got, I'm gonna make a Q&A. But um, I didn't upload it for like, <laughs> like weeks. So I'm actually doing it now. I feel a lot better and I'm gonna try and get my upload schedule back. I'm back at school now, it's really weird. It's really weird like online but in class mixed up with COVID like everybody's wearing masks and like it's just very it's very strange kind of chaotic a little messy you know it's like I feel like nobody really knows what's going on <laughs> today we're doing a QA and a <laughs> and there's nothing <laughs> this is the most messed up part bro there's nothing more depressing <laughs> Then like posting on your on your story saying, hey, ask me questions. <laughs> and then like six people ask you questions out of like the couple, I don't know, like 200 plus people that viewed your story. It's like, it's funny, <laughs> but it's like low-key depressing at the same time. I wish I could post like questions on YouTube. So you like my actual subscribers on YouTube, because I don't know if all you guys are follow me on my social medias. You need a certain amount of subscribers and view accounts to post polls. But um, I don't know, like if any of my subscribers, if anybody's actually gonna watch this, wants to ask me questions, then like, I don't know, I can make another Q&A. So if you want to ask questions, you can drop them in the comment section of this video. But yeah, besides that, let's uh, let's get to the questions. So the first one is already, are two Instagram questions out of 221 viewers. <laughs> I, I, I don't want really to get to me, you know. At least two people ask questions. That's, that's, that's good enough for me. Future goals. I want to get into the kind of broadcasting television slash TV slash like documentary type of business where like uh, I'm, I'm really open-minded on what I want to do. Uh, I want to be like a, a post audio person, an editor, or even a cameraman who goes in there and actually shoots all this stuff. Like those, like the cameraman on those uh, Vice documentaries that go interview like cartels in Mexico. That would be kind of sick. I'd low key, I definitely want to do that. The next big thing I think I want to get into music video shooting production um, and work my way with that. That's why I've been doing a lot of AMVs. I've been trying to just figure out how to blend basically a sequence of clips together in a creative way, uh, which I do have to make more of those. Um, that's another future thing. I want to also start a clothing brand um, Because my girlfriend she does she makes some really good artwork sometimes not sometimes <laughs> No, usually all the time actually there's a couple She has a couple things. I'll, I'll just take a picture of them and I'll post them She's some really some really cool artwork and I wanted to just like get those artworks out and print put them on t-shirts so, um, hoodies, sweatshirts, all that type of stuff, and um, see where I can go with that, and just do like a like a, a partnership with her because I, I like her artwork. It's really cool. She's some really cool stuff. I also want to do collab with even more artists that I would know. I know a couple people have seen the art that's really cool. So like if I can some if I can figure out a way to get those those artwork prints on clothing, I would really like to do that. That's definitely um, a goal of mine. But besides that. Uh, Take it one step at a time. Try not to die, you know? Just trying to <laughs> just trying to stay alive. What's the reason you started making content? I took a, a, an extra year in high school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I went for school, for like uh, for college slash like university. I knew I was gonna go to university because like I'm not trying to be in debt for like 25 years. Um, <laughs> I was at a point where like I had no clue what I wanted to do for school and I was like low key getting like really depressed and like Okay, I shouldn't say depressed, that's a pretty big word. I was getting upset with myself and like, kind of just sad, but like, man, I don't really know what I want to do with my life. My sister made YouTube videos. I, I always saw her do it. She would just go and film her videos, right? And make stuff. And then I knew, and I knew that I really liked movies. I love movies. Like, they're one of my favorite things ever. I just like, I like how movies are made, like the creative process and all the hard work that goes into making those those huge movies. It's, it's crazy. It's a huge process. I knew those two things were cool. So I decided to, hey, I'll just make a YouTube channel and like I'll just upload stuff. So obviously the original idea was Pere Apparel, which would be completely clothing related, but you know, 
things change, and eventually I kind of got bored of that. And like, maybe I'll do one of those, and uh, I'll do one of those again soon. But like, I don't know. The clothing thing is cool, but uh. <laughs> brain fart. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. I kind of, I don't want to sound corny, but I low-key like kind of fell in love with making YouTube videos, just making stuff, hopping on Premiere Pro and editing it and putting it together. It's like, it's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle that you haven't, you don't know all the pieces yet and you're, you're just putting it together to make something cool. I just like that process of creating something, you know? Even if it's, even if it's trash, even if it's good or whatever, it's just, I like the feeling of knowing, hey, I went here, I recorded this, I created this and I put it out there. I like that feeling. So I really like I really like making YouTube videos. So I was like, okay, I like making YouTube videos and I like editing stuff. So what can I do where I can actually make legitimate money and be successful somehow in this? And that's how I got to the uh, videography stuff at Humber. The main reason was because I didn't know what I wanted to do at the end of the day. So I tried this and I like it. So I know I want to do this or anything related kind of in this industry, except being like a producer or like a project manager. Jeez, ugh, I would hate to do that. Just paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. No, we're not doing that. But yeah, the main reason was, um, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And this is what I wanted to do. So I'm glad I figured that part out. Uh, next question. These are the anonymous ones, so people are gonna say some very outlandish things, hold on. I don't know who this was, but it said, play Apex with me. Drop your username. No, like, for real, drop your username. Apex, Apex is the best battle royale we have. I don't care anybody says, Fortnite's trash. I'm just bad at Warzone, so I call it trash. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm just bad at Fortnite and Warzone. So I call them both trash, you know, it's like my way to cope with how bad I actually am. Apex, though, that's a fun game. That was a very fun game. So like, hey, if you want to play, yeah, drop your username. I'll be down. I play on PS4 though, so like, then again, Crossbow is also coming out soon, so like, it doesn't even really matter. But yeah, I do play on PS4. When are you coming to visit? That's. <laughs> I don't know who this is, so like, I can't really, I can't really tell you I want to come to visit because I have no clue who this is. How do you feel about the concentration camps in China? That is some serious. Serious stuff. And you know what bothers me is that in North America, we're all wrapped up in all of our stupid, our stupid little, ugh, our identity politics and our complaining. But there's literally people in China being sterilized and forced out of their religion. Like, that's just happening right now. And nobody's, like, doing anything about it. That's crazy. That that's actually that's happening. This is just like this is like a World War II like Nazi type of thing, and nobody's doing anything about it. That scares me. China, the Chinese government is like legitimately scary. If those guys, if like America goes to crap, which I do think it will, eventually all empires fall. You know, it's like Rome. When Rome fell, everyone, every, it went, it just went to crap as soon as Rome fell. So I feel like if the United States falls or it goes into some type of chaos, which it already is in, riots, COVID, the election, the, the debate's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I've never seen something as funny as that. But like, if, if the United States isn't the number one superpower anymore, we're gonna be in trouble. Cause the next big dudes are, are China and like Russia. And Russia, people get disappeared, and in China, people get disappeared. <laughs> like, it's, those are very, those places aren't nice. The con, the concentration camps are messed up, and they're doing even crazier stuff than that. They're using CRISPR, and they're enhancing people before they're born. They told people, like, COVID happened, gave people wrong numbers, and, like, all this, like, they're just, they're just, they're just corrupt. Those are bad, bad people run the Chinese, the Chinese government. And I feel sorry for the people there. I feel sorry for the people in Hong Kong. What happened to that? What happened to the Hong Kong protest? That just dropped. Like that just disappeared. Like like it never happened. Um, but yeah, I, I, they're terrible. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when someone's gonna intervene. I don't know if anybody's gonna intervene at this point because this is crazy. There's people actually like legitimately being probably dying. They're just dying there probably, and they're just forcing them uh, to comply. And um, yeah, now I'm depressed. <laughs> Oh, okay, here the last one's the complete opposite. It's, do you eat ass and why do you? Well, for certain reasons, I'm not gonna answer this question. <laughs> Cause uh, my parents and probably my little brother might watch this. So, uh, 
I'm gonna keep that open-ended and you guys can figure that one out yourself, okay? How about that? But yeah, those are like all the questions. I didn't get asked that much. Um, but hey, that's okay. At least a couple of people did ask questions, which I appreciate. I'm gonna try my best to get back on a solid upload schedule. Um, I'm about to film a pilot soon, so I'm probably gonna be busy around there, but um, Lo-Fi Mix is coming, this video obviously is coming too. So, just something for you guys to watch. The reason why I came here and actually decided to film this is because, like, I always, I would check my, um, I would, I check my subscribers. I feel like I do it too regularly. I'm like, it's nothing too serious. I don't think this channel's gonna get too big, obviously. But, um, I checked and I was like, you know what? There's probably at least one person waiting for me to upload a video, right? There's one, maybe one. One or two. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> waiting for a video for me. So, you know, that always kind of inspires me to make more stuff. There's the video guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, that'll be really appreciated and I'll see you guys later. Peace.